You tell me, what are the possibilities of Cindy's blood being in your trunk? I don't know that it is Cindy's blood. We're telling you, it's 169 million to one. And I don't know how it got in there. Okay. It's your car. Yes, it is. You have to make a decision in your own head to decide whether or not you really want to come forth with whatever happened if you're not responsible. If you're responsible, you know what, you know, there's not, there's, you know what I'm saying? If I had something to do with Cindy's disappearance, I would have been gone a long time ago. Are you afraid of anybody out there, somebody threatening you? No. So let's go back that night. What happened? I stopped by Lauren's house. And as Olay said, he went to town. She called the bar. Uh, they said he wasn't there. She called again, they said he wasn't there. She called back, gave the phone to me, and he got on the phone. And he told me he was over there drinking, shooting pool. Come on over. So I went over there. Cindy and uh, the one guy came in around uh, 12.30, maybe 12. And uh, they sat in the middle ways of the bar. Fred was still there because me and him was talking. Lauren was sitting behind us at a table. He went over and uh, shot full with uh, that guy, whatever his name is, her boyfriend. And uh, talked to her. Then uh, Fred left. I was seeing karaoke with uh, Pam. And then Cindy and him left. And the karaoke, well, karaoke wrapped up. Cindy and him left. And I told Tex Sheffield, I don't know what they left in, what they were driving or anything. And Lauren and Pam were standing outside the bar there when they uh, walked out together all them. They left, Lauren came back in, and Pam. Then we had a couple more drinks and getting close to closing time there. We closed down the bar and we left. And then? They got my car, turned around, because my park was headed towards Stockton, because I came down Flood Road. I turned around, started to head back up to the hills, because that's where I was headed. And uh, me and Lauren already talked about me staying the night at his house, you know, because I've been drinking so much. So I had to turn around to go back down Flood. When I started down the road, see his bike didn't start because the light didn't come on. Now, if it's no further than, oh, maybe the church right there. It's on the left hand side. By the Lauren's house? No, no. The church on uh, from where the bar was. Oh, all right. I turned around, went back. Pam was out there trying to help him push start his bike. She went back in the bar. I helped him try to push start it, and there would start. We pushed it over. Well, he pushed it over behind the pizza parlor and left it over there at the Quonson Hut. I gave him a ride home. Okay. So you get to Lauren's house. And what do you do at Lauren's house? We go into the garage, well, the side door of the house, and there, and I crash out on the floor, right there. Earlier you mentioned Lauren. Lauren might be responsible for Cindy's blood in your trunk? I didn't say that. Okay. I don't know. I thought that's where you were going. I can't blame no one, because I don't know. Is there somebody else involved that night? The fact is, Wes. I wish I'd never stopped at that bar that night. No, well, you're not the only one. There's, so do we. Put me here right now. I'm sure. So did everybody else. The scenario is this. Cindy's blood is in the back of your car. No question about it. 
Okay, it's proven scientifically. First degree murder is 25 years to life, or can be. Second degree murder, 15 years to life. Being an accessory or uh, withholding information in regards to a murder, straight up, and assisting someone in some way or another after the fact, something like three to five years. Big difference. Straight up, the question is, where do you fall? If Lauren is responsible and you're just trying to help your childhood buddy, trying to protect him, if <coughs> that's what you're doing, and you, if you want to, you want to go down the boat. I'm not trying to help him. Has he threatened you in the past? Threatens a lot of people. Well, has he threatened you? Yeah, he's pulled a gun on me before, too. If there's something that happened that night, you have to tell us now. It's as simple as that. We can't make it any simpler for you. If you lied in the past, I don't care about the lies. I want the truth of what happened that night. There's blood in your car, there's a simple explanation. He knows it, I know it. It's there. Take the opportunity. Oh, my Lord, Okay. So nothing gets said is wrong. It's 0831, and you, you said you wanted a lawyer present? Mm -hmm. Try to, okay, and uh, it won't be long before uh, things will come to light in regards to what information and evidence we have.